Hey everyone, welcome back to Comic Book Corner, and this is your host, Mike Spider Slayer. That's right, guys, uh, getting ready to do another comic book review. Uh, but before we start, guys, uh, if you're interested, go ahead and go to Dark Avenger Inc. Uh, you can see all my other comic book reviews over on Dark Avenger Inc. And if you're also interested, stop by comicrelated.com. And my reviews will be posted on there as well. Okay, guys. So today we are talking about Avengers. Issue number one. Written by Jonathan Hickman. And our art is done by Jerome Opinia. That is correct. Um, this was another highly anticipated book from Marvel Now. And did it deliver? I thought it did. I thought it was pretty good. It was kind of different. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't know what to expect from this uh, story, but I did quite enjoy it. Um, I love the cover of this book. I wasn't a huge fan of the art. Not saying that the art is bad in any way or shape or form, just not my style of art. Um, so first off, Again, the cover is fantastic. You just have um, Captain America here uh, just leading the group of, you know, I guess Avengers because you got Cannonball and Captain Marvel and you got Wolverine and you got the Hulk. Um, so uh, that's pretty cool right there. And then if you go inside the book for interior arts, uh, here we have a nice page here. It's like almost like uh, painted art. It's pretty pretty cool in a way. Um, I thought the art at some points were really, really awesome. The was really, really cool. And at other points, I was kind of like, I was questioning myself about it. So for me, it was uh, inconsistent uh, when it came to certain characters of that nature. Um, and again, it's not my favorite style of art, but not saying that it's bad in any way. Um, next, we have another page here. Uh, we can see like spaceships and people like Thor and Hawkeye looking up and you got like Iron Man armor just laying on the ground there which is pretty neat and then you have another cool page which it's like like the holy grail for the Avengers or something it kind of you see like the Avengers round table there and you have like it is it's like the Knights of the Round Table you got the Avengers table there and then you got little dots of what everything is representing and you see Captain America's little star as like the main um, the main Avenger there which is pretty neat to see um, so yeah that, that's your glance of some of the interior art um, again the book was a nice story uh, very interesting and again I wasn't expecting I don't know again I don't know what I was expecting so as we go through the walkthrough here it just says previously in Avengers and you're like okay here we go and then you just come up to this like black panel and you're like oh okay and it says there was nothing and you're like okay and then it just says followed by everything and it just it just keeps saying you know life is getting us surrounded by suns and then the next thing you see is you got this life that's being created on uh, on Mars out of all places and Mars is being filled with tons of vegetation and all kinds of crazy stuff, uh, which is pretty cool. Now the character that um, has created this life on Mars, his name was Ex Nilio, and that's this gentleman right here with the horns. He's like a buffed up Loki, you know, that's kind of what it looks like. And, um, and then you see like there's this mass destruction and war and chaos and like I said you saw all these like Iron Man armors here on the bottom so which was pretty weird too and then it, it just you can see that it says and it all started with two men and then you got Tony Stark um, looking here and he's looking at that Knights of the Round Table that I was talking about and you can see that there's the Avengers and then there's the core group um, that surrounds it um, but we can see that Tony Stark gets up, Steve Rogers here, and he's like, everything okay? And he's like, oh, nightmare. And then you see like these characters right here. And uh, he's just saying that, you know, 
everything has to get bigger. We have to get bigger. We have to expand. And the next thing you see is you see Mars at one month later. And Ex Nihilio here is just has created this life on Mars and he's kind of weird looking character here. It looks like he's got like an eyeball up here and got some horns and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. And um, the next thing we see is you see this one chick, her name is Abyss, she's involved in the whole thing. And we have this other robot guy, um, I'm trying to realize his name, I forgot his name too, but he's pretty big looking robot and you'll see that later in the issue. And he just says the apes are coming. And what we see now is we see the Avengers are coming to Mars to take out this guy and Ex Nihilio. And this is where, I don't know, I didn't find the art bad, but in certain places I was just like, it wasn't that great either. Like, I'm not a fan of, of the Hulk looking like this. That's just, again, that's my opinion. And uh, he kind of looks like some dumbfounded troll or something. And, uh, and then you got Captain America running here, and you just look like his face. It's just like sticking out way too far over his body. It looks like his body's like in a distance. So I, I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't, wasn't fond of certain areas of the artwork. And they're fighting all these guys and Hulk gets captured. Iron Man gets captured by this plant life. And the Avengers are just fairly, fair, failing quite miserably throughout the issue. And, you know, they caught, they wind up capturing Widow, Black Widow and Hawkeye. And uh, they're just no match for these guys. And um, what happens is the Abyss possesses the Hulk, starts telling them things, and the Hulk just goes and he starts smashing the Thor. He's just like, bam! And you can see that right there. Hulk, you know, Hulk is just killing him, and Thor drops his hammer. He's just hammers just drop in. And then the next thing you see is Captain America is coming to the rescue. He's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to... He's like, I'm going to, even if I'm the last man standing, I'm going to stop you. Throws his shield out there. And, and Ex Nihilio is like, ugh. You know, it doesn't really affect him all that much. Captain America's badass. You know, captures his, uh, his shield. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. He goes to capture his shield. And the next thing you see is you see the robot deal. And he's like, uh, you're, you're a big one, aren't you? You know? And he goes, yield. Captain America, you know, being very stubborn, he's like, not a chance, I ain't gonna stop you. Next thing you see is this big robot just goes, boom, 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 he just keeps pummeling him, man, he's just like, dude, like, you think Captain America is gonna die? <laughs> and he says, and he sits here and goes, yield. And he's like, no. And, and he's just really getting pounded. And then Ex Nihilio kind of holds his hand and he's like telling him to stop. They put him on this ship takes off the ship, ship starts crashing down the earth, uh, Captain America starts falling to the ground, and the next thing you see three days later, he's waking up in the hospital. He was just destroyed, and you can see Ex Nihilio trying to figure out what to do with uh, all the other guys, and he's like, this is the best that they have to offer, which is nothing, you know. Steve Rogers going up, goes to that holy grail, again, you can see the Avengers, the lights here, which that surrounds it. Kind of looks like an arc reactor in a way too, and uh, he's thinking, and he makes this call, and he's like, "We have to get bigger," and it says when he clicks on it, it says "Wakes the world," and you see all these miscellaneous heroes that are coming awake, and you know, going to be part of the extended avert, uh, extended Avengers team, and we have Captain America here getting in his, uh, I guess, his new gear. And uh, I like that scene. I really like that. You know, you see him slowly putting it on, getting ready. You can almost hear, like, the background music, um, you know, in the background while he's getting ready to do battle here. And uh, it's really cool. And he says, we are the Avengers. And uh, you can see all the characters in the background of who's joining up with him. And you can see a whole bunch of miscellaneous characters like Spider-Woman, Cannonball, Spider-Man. Uh, I don't know how he really fits in the whole thing, Captain Marvel, and Wolverine, and, and some other characters too. And again, you can see on this last page, it says, Wake the World, and you have what was on that computer screen. Um, you have the original Avengers, which was on there in the beginning of the, of the issue. 
you can see that there. It's got Captain America as the star one, and you got Hawkeye, and you know you can see Iron Man and Thor, and again you can see all their their characters, Black Widow, and uh, so you see all that there. And then once you know that they're out of commission, it's got to go into like the backup team or the extended version team, and it goes again starting with the star, and it goes wraps around. Uh, with all the other characters, so you got X Men symbol, you got Spider Man in there, and then it goes even farther, starting out with Thor, and it goes even further out, and then there's even more characters that are yet to be revealed in this whole series. So it's truly going to be an awesome thing to see because there's obviously going to be a lot more um, Avengers to come in this series. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of the issue. Uh, Captain America stepping up to the plate, which is really cool to see. He's got to get these new extended Avengers out there and bail out his buddies from Mars and see how he's going to take down Ex Nelio. So, really cool issue, nice story. Um, at first, I wasn't really at all keen on the art, but it kind of grew on me a little bit as the time went on. Had some really great panels on there. And uh, so, I, for me, I'm going to give the art a, like a three and a half, maybe four out of five. And then the overall story was a five. So I'm going to give the book a four out of five. So this is definitely a great book to read. It's a great story. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the second issue of the Avengers. Uh, so guys, uh, tell me your thoughts on this book. Uh, are you picking it up? Are you reading it? Who's your favorite character on the Avengers team? What do you think about this ex Nilio dude? And uh, what do you think is going to happen in the future for the Avenger team? Or what would you like to see? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and this is Mike Spider Slayer saying thank you for watching, and until the next comic, group, comic book review, I'll see you soon, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye.